Ghana as a nation has been looking to keep growing, improving and developing in all areas we find ourselves. This way of life of improving and advancing is what has inspired Ghana's very own Safo Kantanka, who has decided to shoulder and spearhead various technological improvements in the nation with the invention of incredible military support equipment which consists of armored vehicles and combat exoskeletons that have been produced by the gifted son of the soil. In today's video, we take an in-depth look at these incredible inventions and how they intend to elevate the country's military power. Before we begin as always, kindly like and subscribe to this channel for more insightful content like this. Let's dive right into it. Apostle Dr. Engineer Koju Safo Kantanka, who is the founder and chairman of Kantanka Group in Ghana, has been spearheading some amazing and daring futuristic projects in technological advancements in the country, from supercars to aircraft crafts and many more. Kantanka Group has also shown great interest in developing state-of-the-art and futuristic military equipment and artillery as well. The most interesting and fascinating ones of which are the Kantanka Group exoskeletons and massive armored tanks considered to be at par with the largest in the world and is equipped with a state-of-the-art laser range finder. The suits, known as exoskeletons, are designed to augment the capability of their wearers, allowing them to carry heavier loads and go to longer distances without causing any injury and protecting their body. The Kantanka Group exoskeletons show more heavier armored men as compared to the exoskeleton projects in other advanced countries such as the US, wherein the exoskeletons are more contraptions to augment rather than act as armor for the soldiers, which many seem to miss, but that is the price of a futuristic invention. The armored vehicle introduced is also extremely massive, much like a land battleship with a cavernous inside that it might be able to squeeze in a platoon of fully armed soldiers though it doesn't have a turret so a gunner can safely fire from the inside its profile may not be tactically viable when military vehicle designers always opt to go for a lower profile look these phenomenal technological advancements were put on display during the 38th annual exhibition of the kantanka group in accra an event which was graced by the Asantehene, Otum IV Osei Tutu II and other dignitaries, including the senior minister, Mr. Yao Osafumafo, the minister of environment, science, technology and innovation, Professor Kwabna Frempong Boateng, members of parliament, representative of the various security agency and traditional leaders. Otum IV Osei Tutu, during the event, commended Apostle Dr. Safo Kantanka for his wonderful works that will benefit the incoming generation and praised his immense contribution towards the development of science, technology and creativity in the country. Otum Four Say Tutu encouraged Apostle Safo to persist in his hard work in spite of the limited support offered him by the state and also encouraged the citizens to get behind his creative genius wholeheartedly. Aside the showcase, not much information has been made public about the capabilities of the exoskeletons as well as the battle tank. It will be interesting to know about their capabilities and if they are as formidable as they look as they can be a real game changer in the battlefield. Although their designs may not meet NATO requirements, currently they may just be more than enough for their local requirements which in itself is a massive win for technology in military application in the country. While we expect such developments from developed countries in the West, it's such a pleasant surprise that such a massive undertaking is happening right here in Ghana. Despite the many frustrations ensuing from lack of support from the government and the lack of patronage from the locals, Apostle Dr. Safo Kantanka and the Kantanka Group still passionately and admirably look to pursue and create technological marvels which are certain to put Ghana on the map. This is very commendable as in this day and age, Ghanaian's creativity in technology isn't as common and these constant efforts by the Kantanka Group is what still stands as examples of such technological advancements in Ghana by Ghanaians. Their unwavering efforts must be celebrated and supported immensely. With these military equipment and artillery established, a lot of good things will come of them when they are able to be put into use the right way. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out this video next on massive projects in Ghana that will just amaze you. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.